Well, they are two of the most consistent 3A teams that we have in the Valley, and they've been playing each other for quite a long time and a lot on the line tonight. Action Force sports reporter Katie Lopez is in Rio Hondo, where tonight the Port Isabel Tarpons came to town. Katie. Clay, as you can see behind me, the stadium here in Rio Hondo is pretty deserted. Now, that wasn't the case a few hours ago as people gathered here in Rio Hondo to watch the Bobcats face off against the Port Isabel Tarpons. Now, both were looking to get their hands on that district title. Of course, as you know, only one can do that. Let's go ahead and go to those highlights. The Bobcats are the first to put the points on the board as quarterback number one Sergio Perez throws a short pass to number seven Hernan Guerrero who manages to avoid getting tripped up by a school of Tarpons for the first touchdown of the night. The Tarpons answer right back with number 80 Ryan Vasquez as he tries to take on a pack of cats but can't quite pull through as he's tackled by them. But later quarterback pass to number three Michael Curry proves successful. As you can see right here he's walking into the end zone bringing the score seven to seven. The Tarpons weren't done. Quarterback Isaiah Martinez looking, looking, finally finding Andrew Holland. Tarpons scoring in the half, sending the score 14-7. Now this is going into halftime, but they weren't done yet. They're celebrating here. Now going right here, you can see um, as now towards the end, number 22 was a, uh, for the Tarpons is able to score twice more, bringing the final score 35 to 7. Now towards the end, we weren't able to get this on film, but we did witness it. They did have a fight on the field. This caused the referees to call the game with about two minutes left on the clock. Now we did speak to the Tarpons head coach. We will have that full interview on Sunday Sports Extra. He says that this fight he believes started from Facebook and he told his guys that they're better than this. and He doesn't want to see this ever happen again. Live in Rio Hondo, Katie Lopez, Action for Sports. Clay. All right.